Welcome, I'm from the Realme C11 and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the Do Not Disturb mode. Now to get started, we'll need to pull down the notification panel and look for the toggle, which I already know it's not visible here. So tap on this box with a pencil, however you want to describe it, and find the Do Not Disturb mode, which is right here, the moon icon. So you want to grab it and drag it over like so and just go back you can see that it's now visible here so from here you can hold it and this will take us to the settings where we can customize it if we're doing that for the first time so this will be the first option for enabling we have the schedule um, when you go in here you can create a schedule so you can name it whatever you want i can then set a start time let's make it nine and time five for instance kind of like a work schedule and let's just close the keyboard there we go and repeat as by default set to daily but we can for instance remove it for just to be a work one so monday through friday and then click on done and this will create a new work schedule that will be turning on every single day and even further it's already turned on because it's in the time range you can see it's 10 um, it's supposed to be enabled at 9 and it is right now on which you can see also it has a name tt basically what i named it right here as you can see so you can distinguish what kind of what it was enabling the do not disturb mode now apart from it being enabled uh, automatically you have the exceptions right here so you can set uh, for instance exceptions to notification types uh, so status bar banner uh, what notifications will appear also going back there we go we have exceptions for messages and calls messages well only has the uh, anyone everyone uh, contacts and favorites well calls i believe also has that plus the the option right here there it is so repeated uh, ring for repeated callers if someone calls you twice within a three minute period uh, the second time around they will be able to reach you no matter what the setting is here so for instance denial i can still enable that and even though the first time around the person will be denied and the second time around if they call within a three minute they can still reach me a good option for emergencies and that's about it now apart from it basically being set to be enabled automatically you can still enable it yourself by simply just tapping on a toggle like so and turn on and you can see right now it is on now when you do it uh, manually you will need to also disable it manually uh, otherwise it will be constantly on but that is how you would use this option enable disable it and set it up and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching